decided to do a cleaning on a Miller furnace. I've probably taken care of this furnace for probably the last five to six years. And for an old Miller furnace, if you don't know anything about like a mobile home furnace, it's very common for these old Miller CMF 80s to have cracks in them, either around the pouch gasket area where you clean them out, where you remove everything. Uh, there's a plate that pops off or you'll also find them cracked. If you remove the fan and limit switch, a lot of times they'll be cracked vertically right there. They'll be cracked on the bottom, all over the place. But this one, in this case, I can never find a crack. This thing's like bulletproof. So it's like the bulletproof uh, Miller hot air furnace. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. But anyways, this is my first job of the day in my 8.30 slot. I'm gonna go take care of this cleaning. Try to show you guys some snippets of it. This guy kind of likes to sit there the whole time, watch what I'm doing, just hang out, which I don't really mind it, you know? It's good conversation a lot of times. Unless the person's like a jerk or something, then, then I'll be like, dude, you need to go upstairs or you need to go get out of my face. No, <laughs> just kidding, but no, uh, usually, I'm comfortable with what I do for work. I'm not like, it's not my first year so or second, so uh, customers being over my shoulder really doesn't bother me. If they want to sit there and try to learn how to do it their se themselves, go for it. Most of the time, they're not gonna want to after they see what we do. After that, I have a GB142. I'm gonna be putting in this hot surface igniter on a Badaris GB142 boiler. Went there the other day to fire it up for the first time in the season. I uh, turned the gas back on and no ignition. I was a little bit rushed that day to get to class for air conditioning, so I had to um, kind of get out of there. But today I'm gonna ohm out the old hot surface igniter, see if it's good, if it's bad, what's actually going on. The other thing about that call is I had 15.80 on my manometer for gas pressure, well, inches of water column, so that's not good at all. You want it between like, 10 to 13 inches of water column for propane on the incoming manifold pressure. So I'm wondering if it might've done some damage to the gas valve and that's causing issues. But we'll find out today. I'll try to film that call. It might be a little easier to get some filming done there, but I'm gonna put that in after. of in here right there your eyes are better than mine Josh yeah there's a crack right there though yeah so that pretty much does in the heat exchanger <laughs> all right guys so that one there we did find the cracked heat exchanger finally 
after about five, six years, like I said, I've been servicing that furnace. It finally cracked there, upper left-hand corner, um, where they commonly do where the pouch gasket goes. So that thing's junk. Hopefully I'll be replacing it Thursday. We're really packed in our schedule right now. So, but anyway, I red tagged it and we got to get a new one in there. Should be an easy enough install. Those go pretty good. Now I'm just off to my next one, which is gonna be that GB142 hot surface igniter that hopefully it's not the gas valve. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna ohm out that hot surface igniter today. See if it uh, has a short in it or something. The old one gl was glowing, but sometimes they glow and they still won't light off the gas. So there's not enough there, but yeah, gonna go hit this call and on to the next one. Let's go get it done.
All right, guys, so I am all set at that last call for now. That GB142, what a mess. The customer actually didn't have it clean for 10 years. The installer, whoever it was, I don't know, they told them that it's a gas boiler and it doesn't need service, uh, yearly maintenance, and that's just the furthest thing from the truth. Gas boilers need maintenance even more so than oil in a lot of cases. And uh, they build that kind of, the wall hung high efficiencies build this kind of acidity and um, stuff that just plugs up the heat exchanger. Every year you're supposed to run water down through that heat exchanger, clean that stuff off. But yeah, that byproduct is some nasty stuff. It will plug heat exchangers rock solid like that. And at that point, there's almost not much you can do. I'm gonna try to get hot water in there next time and continue breaking away at it. Honestly guys, that boiler might be done. That might be it for that boiler. We might end up replacing it because lack of maintenance and just neglecting to have your system worked on. It's very common in my area, it seems. And it also seems very common in my area that people say the thing about it's gas, it doesn't need to be clean. Gas boilers are uh, like clean to the point where they don't need maintenance, which is crazy to me. Anyway, I do have a gas valve here for next time. The first visit I made there, the gas pressure on the incoming manifold was 15.80, which is a water column, when it really calls for a max of 14. I bumped the second stage regulator down to bring the gas pressure back down to around 12 inches of water column, but that could have done in the gas valve last time. So next plan of action is gonna be continue breaking that down, try to free up the heat exchanger. If that doesn't work, then try the gas valve at that point and go from there but yeah guys thanks for watching today first job there was a cracked heat exchanger easy enough write it up and with the company I work for they're actually on a presidential service plan which means they get a free furnace not really free because they've been paying into that plan over years but but yeah guys it's just another day in the life I hope you kind of enjoyed that comment down below leave me a like let me know what content you guys want to see more of from me I do have a new computer coming so I'm gonna be a lot more efficient with editing. Uh, right now I'm doing it all on my phone. It's kind of hard with the little screen. So on the laptop, I think I'll be better off with the editing portion of it. And I think I'll be a lot more efficient with the channel. Look forward to the future content to come from Blue Collar Biceps. I know I'm slacking on the fitness end of it. I gotta crank out some fitness videos for you guys and nutrition like I said I would. But with that computer coming, I'm gonna be a lot more efficient like I said before. So. Have a great day or night, guys. Whoever you're watching this video, share it with your friends, anyone who you might think will be interested in the trade, learning a little bit, and um, just being inspired to go blue collar and to get into the plumbing or HVAC trades. Uh, they're great career paths. I can't see myself doing anything else. I love what I do. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> Wave. My inner soul make a village glow. You can see the real through my inner scope. Real grows, but it feel cold. Give my spirit to the pin stroke. Young Westbrook and the rim is low. Sweet tang when it fall through. When I hit the queen with the give and go. I be getting close. I be feeling go. I be in a mode when my people's dilated. Take the beat and then annihilate it till the siren faded. Fuck a violation. I be going places. It's no escaping high. Ride my wave and chasing Percy Mills with no limitation. Carve a smile with they straight faces. Therapeutic self medicated. I be doing fine for a low life. Seeing clear. For the stove light, chasing green, all I know is to go. They see my pro when the show's right. Third finger to my old life. I can't lose. Count up the blue. It's been nothing, reboot. Put on for the crew. It's a coup. Don't got no roof. So I can shoot for the star beam. So I can shoot for the star beam. So I can shoot. So I can shoot for the star beam, yeah. So I can shoot for the star beam. So I can shoot. So I can shoot for the star beam. I just hit the brody, what you want? I just cut myself a little map to remind me where I'm from and where I'm going. And where I'm at, only trip shit out my tulips. I talk that true shit. I'm out here trying to smell the roses while I'm still here. I'm at the crib, oh, getting toasted. I'm off the dosage. My mind is glowing, set the blow up from my white mold. Never forfeit, must be clutch. How the way I close it, taking more than I can fold. Watch it close here. You might pick up on a pro tip. I got the torch, let they want my business to receive.
side, right by where they knows it. Give my image some distortion. Yeah, bitch, I come from where the floor is. Top rhyming bullshit. I used to live off of the more, so now I get portions. Since 18, been on my loan, so my life been cordless. But then I.